What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mug. I hope you're all doing well. It is December 20th. That means there's five days till Christmas, and I'm uh, doing a project called uh, Project Very Merry Christmas, I guess. I'm trying to paint up a bunch of these Crix models in time for December 25th, and uh, that's my goal. I've started with these two Warjacks here. I'm really, really just trying to jam as fast as I can while doing a, a good paint job and um, I'm really happy with it. I started filming a tutorial for this metal fellow here and I'm really happy with my progress. Unfortunately, the other models are kind of put on the side until I can get these two out of the way. And also, because I'm, I'm doing a tutorial for these guys because Warjacks are kind of iconic when you're playing War Machine. So no matter what Warjack you get, you'll notice these two guys are armed differently, they've got different loadouts, but the same basic concept of the color scheme with where you paint what color and how you go about dividing the areas of the model into different component parts so that you can paint separate areas and be kind of consistent no matter which Warjack you do. With the other models, I'm not so sure how, how much value it would be to film them. So I, I don't want to film something that nobody's really going to watch, you know, because it's a lot of editing time and, and time that I could be spent, I could be spending doing something else. On the other hand, if people are going to find value in what I'm working on and uh, as a tutorial, I'd love to be able to do that and share what I'm doing so that uh, it's out there. And Gosh, I know if I was a Crix player, I would love any video I can get, so I might I might do it anyways. I think one of these, this War Witch de Negra, is an older sculpt. It's a metal figure, but it's an older sculpt. I, I don't think they offer it on their website anymore. The War Machine website has a, a different looking figure for, for the same character, so that might not be of use to anyone unless they have the out of print model or they're able to convert the colors to using it with the new i don't know if it's plastic or resin one anyways i'm i've got a different figures here i want to show it to you for you crix players out there or those of you who play someone who has crix figures i'd love to know which would be the most valuable to do a tutorial on which of these really gets a lot of play and sees a lot of field time that people out there might be looking for videos on and if you say all of them then I'll ch I might just try to do all of them or I'll do updates and post them on the either the Google Play Google Plus page or my uh, my Patreon but I know I've got the war the, the witch coven of Garlgast war witch the negra like I said I think this is a my reference guide for what all of these are. I think there's a there's a war war witch siren and a death walker. I think this is a siren and a death walker. This is some some figure with the the word bastard in his name. I remember that thinking like oh that's a kind of kind of graphic I guess or kind of kind of harsh name for a figure but it's something the bastard and this is a scarlock thrall. So I'm going to be jamming on them as soon as I'm done with the Crix Warjacks and yeah, I'd love to hear from you. Which do you think would be good for doing a tutorial on with my my limited time and resources? So uh, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you're all doing well. I would love to hear from you uh, two things. What are you working on in the upcoming year? What are your goals? I am joining in with the Itik Beer 2016 painting challenge pick something and paint it up throughout the year. I started it last year I did a, a Bretonian project. I remember I committed myself to do that painted up in Game of Thrones style Unfortunately as much fun as it was I didn't have the um, I Guess I don't want to say motivation because I definitely had the motivation I think I just couldn't afford to cut out the time to do it because I had other commissions that needed to be done and I, I didn't really see the utility and the value of of doing a full-on project for that. And maybe if it was only myself and I didn't have a painting business to worry about, that'd be totally different. But I'm thinking in 2016, everything I put up will either have to do with my business or with something that I, I'm doing for my Patreon to generate more business. You know, stuff like that. And I think it'll, it'll be more value that way instead of having something that's just, oh, that's pretty cool to look at, but not really gaining me more <laughs> business. Anyways. 
Let me know what you're working on. I put up a post in the Google group. Please join up. I'm going to change as the clock strikes midnight. I will change the the name of the group from Warbots Taste 2015 Painting Community to Warbots Taste 2016 Painting Community and spread the word. I'd love to see all your progress. I'm catching up on everybody's work and trying to leave comments and post reaction to not only things that you guys are doing recently, but work that you've been posting up since the May painting challenge last year. It's a whole eight months of, of work and backlog that I want to catch up on. I still don't know how a lot of your projects turned out, like Mega Tim Ho's giant uh, orc bane blade tank conversion and uh, a, lot of, a lot of people who've been really committed and dedicated and people who I'm really grateful to for taking part in the May Painting Challenge last year. I want to catch up to all the videos and, and see how you all did. I'm also, oh, I'm planning next year's Painting Challenge, but I'm not sure which month to do it in. I've got a couple of, of you know, options. I just kind of choose it based on my own schedule, right? Because I know I'm going to be able to to post when when it's clearest for me. But obviously this last year it didn't work out so well. And so I want to pick a month that will work for the majority of you guys instead of just me. So if I have to, I can, I can you know, drop out again to make sure that that I take care of everything else I need to. But what would work for you? May challenge, June painting challenge, July painting challenge. I would love to be able to get as much of, a, of I guess, feedback and input from you guys as possible. So I put up a poll on the Google Plus page. Check it out and vote over there and uh, if a different month works for you like September or or March or whatever put that down as well and it, depending on how the feedback goes I'll try to align our painting challenge this year to to that but I guess did May work for you guys last year I know a lot of people who usually took part but were not able to last year because we had moved it from July to to May Basically, I just want to test the waters. So yeah, feel free to vote on that. Let me know what you're going to be working on in 2016. And uh, thank you so much for all your support. I, I hate to keep plugging my Patreon page, but um, if, if you want to support me that way, I'll put the link down below and you can check out some of the rewards. I, I think the rewards and the gifts and the tiers and, and all, all my goals and stuff, I think they're pretty fun and uh, very much things that I would enjoy supporting so also if you know anybody who has a patreon page let me know and I'd love to support them even if it's just a dollar a month I think the more patrons we can give each other the the more supportive we can be of each other the better for the community all right guys I am off today is Dookie's birthday it's December 20th he's a year old today so we're gonna take him to PetSmart and let him pick out <laughs> whatever gift he wants okay thanks for watching everybody we'll see you in the next video